Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing fantastic. So I have removed my old design and I am going in with another one. So I'm just going with my Skittles bit. I will leave the link in the description box where you can get this. I just find it a little bit better than the Todak USA one. This is what I'm going to be using. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the growth. So I have um, etched all the new growth and dehydrated and applied my acid primer and now I'm going in with a bead of cherry blossom from CJP as you can see it did fall um, onto the nail where I didn't want to place it but you know we worked with it and I pushed it up so you want to make sure this bead is quite dry you don't want it wet you don't want to be chasing it around the form because that is not good um, and yeah, you just want to use swiping actions to create that smile line because if you're digging in to, with your brush, you're going to create indents. So yeah, swooping motions and just don't fret too much because you can file it all crisp anyway. So I'm going to leave that smile line and that nail bed to set before I can file it and I'm just going to go ahead and carry on with the infill on the middle finger. This finger had has still got the khaki green on because I haven't took the set off but I'm just going to go in and apply some vivid violet from CJP and I'm just going to cover this entire nail with this. Sometimes when you have design powders that are really neon and this pigmented, once you, when you dip your brush first into the powder, you can get like a slight marbling um, effect where it goes quite light where the pigments are separated. So what I like to do is when I first dip it into the powder and then as I'm applying it onto the nail, I like to twist it over so the bit that first hit the brush is actually underneath. That way I'm just not going to end up with that marbleized colour because we're not going for that look. So when I'm happy with all that, I will just leave that and then I'll go ahead and just file my smile line crisp and then I'm just gonna go in with the same color up to the smile line point. Um, you do wanna keep it neat, but you can file it if you do get a little bit on the nail bed, so I wouldn't worry too much, but obviously when you're working with acrylic, you always wanna really try and keep your work neat and clean so that you haven't got to file to perfect anything or you know really rely on your file to shape or you know create your extensions so I'm just making sure that all this area is covered I want to take that color right down to that small line and make a nice you know really exaggerate that small line that we've created and making sure also that I am getting all around the edges because I don't want to come to file in and add my top coat and then see that there is like a patch missing because that also is not good so when I'm happy with all, all that place, I'm going to move on to the next finger. Once I've stopped faffing around. And I'm just going to go in and apply my second coat of primer as I do um, whenever I'm doing acrylic nails. I'm just going to apply that just before acrylic application. So now I'm going in with birthday suit. And I am showing you the bead every time I'm picking up that it's dry and dimply. It's not wet, it's not runny, it's not smooth it is dimply and dry that is the perfect ratio for cjp that is what you want to aim for and i'm then just going to manipulate that into place where i want it and um, really pushing with the tip of my brush into the cuticle area just to keep that really nice and flush and just building up any where the nail may have gone slightly thinner where i've filed away previous design I'm moving on to the form and I've already created a really thin clear um, structure free edge because I'm going to be doing this as a French so I'm just going to go ahead and build that French again
if I was showing you how thin that is and then I forgot to record when I was applying the glitter so I'm just um, applying just black glitter and on the pinky finger I did apply a full encapsulated glitter nail but once I filed it all away all the glitter had started I'd done it too thick obviously and the glitter started to come away so I just fixed that by applying some CJP base coat for their, from their jello collection and then sugaring the same glitter on top of the nail and that way it looked perfect just to let you know that you can um, you can fix a shit nail there's always a way so as well before I carry on I just want to say that this set was inspired by Yes's nail room on Instagram she's fantastic I will leave her Instagram in the description as well so now I'm just going to go ahead on this ring finger and I'm going to just freehand paint some kind of stencil roses. Um, as I was drawing this one, watching this video back, doesn't that really look like a little girl's face? Like I can't get that image out of my head now, like you look at it, it just looks like a smiling little girl. It's really, really crazy. But yes, yeah, so I'm just going to go and just randomly place them wherever I felt the need. So it's kind of like... The only way I can describe when I do roses are like I go for like commas and then just round the base of the comma I'll make it a little bit thicker to kind of recreate that petal look. And then with each rose that I do, I do put it in my lamp to flash cure for 15 seconds so that when I'm moving on to the next one I'm not going to smudge it or move it or it's going to ruin because you just want that to stay nicely where it is. So yeah, just eyeball it and see where you need more or maybe where you need a little bit less. Um, so now I'm going in, I've already top coated the pointer finger and the thumb with CJP Tack Free Gloss Top Coat. And now I'm going in on the middle finger and the ring finger and I'm going to make these two matte. Again, I'm using CJP, their matte, jello matte top coat is just, oh, it's the mutz nuts. It really is bomb shabomb. It's just amazing. <laughs> So after I've cured this, after I've um, applied these to the nails, I then pop them in the lamp for 60 seconds to give it a real good cure. And then when it comes out, I will wipe off that layer with some isopropyl alcohol to remove that sticky layer from the mat. Then I'm gonna go in and apply my lemon cuticle balm. Those that have this will know that this is the shiznit. So nourishing on them cuticles. And I don't think I've ever been more proud of making anything in my whole entire life than these cuticle balms. So thank you for people asking for the ingredients, but I'm not prepared to share, but you can Google and um, there's lots of uh, recipes there so that's the finished set i hope you've enjoyed i really enjoyed doing the set i love them thank you as always for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you're not already i would love that love you all bye